If you are working with an interior designer for your bathroom remodel, one of the best questions you can ask them is, if this were your bathroom remodel, what luxury upgrades would you be considering? Designers are generally up to date on the newest, most luxurious products and finishes, and although you may not share their love of a rainfall showerhead, this question will not only tell you what's hot and new on the market today, but will also provide you with some insight into which upgrades may be worth considering, because not all of them are. So in this lecture, I am going to share with you the seven upgrades that I would love to use if I were remodeling my own bathroom, as well as two honorable mentions. Most of my favorite upgrades also have great resale value. Of course, there are many more options than just these nine, and I assure you that throughout the course, I'll be covering all of the other options, some of which may be your favorite. So let's get started. The upgrade that I most desire and is not only luxurious but practical is radiant floor heating. Now, honestly, if budget were no object, I would use radiant floor heating in my entire home, but it is ideal for a place like your bathroom. First, it's a small space comparatively. And second, most bathroom floors are composed of naturally cold materials like tile and stone, which is definitely not pleasant to step on with bare feet in the middle of winter. And just like with your home's thermostat, you can program the floor heat to different temperatures throughout the day to reduce costs. You can even zone the heating in your floor so that only the most commonly used areas of your bathroom floor are heated, further controlling costs. Because heat rises, Radiant floor heating will also heat the entire bathroom, provided the room is properly insulated. However, if your flooring is over a cement slab, it won't work as efficiently as the cement will absorb some of the heat. Technically, radiant floor heating can be either electric, which uses electric cables to generate heat, or hydronic, which uses heated water run through flexible plastic tubing to provide heat, typically from a boiler system. Hydronic is generally the better choice for whole house floor heating. However, if the bathroom is the only place you'll be installing floor heating, electric is usually the more affordable and easier option to install. Keeping on the theme of warmth, my next luxury upgrade would definitely be a towel warmer. Sure, who doesn't love the idea of wrapping oneself in a cozy warm towel when getting out of the shower or bathtub? But did you also know that a towel warmer will help you avoid mildew growing on your towels and in your bathroom? And you can also use this fixture to dry swimsuits and wet clothing. So this upgrade is not only luxurious, but quite practical. If you love this idea, just a few important notes. Thick towels work better than thin towels. Warmers made from aluminum and brass will heat up more quickly than those made from steel, although steel will retain heat longer. Also, many models with higher power consumption can also act as an effective second heat source for your bathroom and may be sufficient as a primary heat source for a small bathroom. Just like floor heating, towel warmers can be hydronic or electric, and they are also available with programmable timers and adjustable temperature settings. Towel warmers can be wall-mounted, floor-mounted, or freestanding, plug-in or hardwired, and are available in traditional or contemporary styles. Finally, if you don't have the wall space, consider a canister towel warmer, which is quite compact and can be a great choice for smaller bathrooms. Next on my list is built-in Bluetooth speakers, which are especially great for singing in the shower. Now, you might be familiar with portable waterproof shower speakers that suction onto your shower wall, but they don't always provide the best listening experience. They, of course, have to use batteries, and if they get too wet, they are prone to falling down. The next step up is freestanding single speakers that are water or weather resistant, but this obviously needs to sit somewhere, and in a small room like a bathroom, all flat surfaces are generally valuable real estate that you likely won't want to relinquish to a speaker. So instead, for all you shower singers and or podcast listeners, definitely consider built-in speakers. Steam and humidity resistant or waterproof built-in speakers are typically installed in your ceiling. Usually, you are looking at a single stereo speaker, or two speakers can be installed for large bathrooms, which will give you a true stereo sound. Of course, it's probably no surprise that you can also find built-in speakers that have the ability to be linked to a voice assistant such as Google Assistant or Amazon Alexa. Speaking of singing in the shower, let me talk about a few of my favorite shower luxury features that I think are completely worth the time and money. 
First on my list is a curbless shower, also referred to as a barrier-free shower. While this type of shower definitely requires careful pre-planning and working with a qualified professional, especially if you want to install one on the second floor, given that the shower floor needs to be recessed into the bathroom floor, they are definitely worth it from an aesthetic and functional perspective. Aesthetically, you can't beat the streamlined look of these showers, given that you can easily run your tile seamlessly across your bathroom. Although be sure that you use a tile with a proper COF or coefficient of friction rating so the tile isn't dangerous when wet. They are also particularly ideal for any style that uses a lot of straight, clean lines and minimal visual clutter, such as contemporary, mid-century modern, Scandinavian, and Zen. Functionally, this is ideal for both universal design and aging in place bathrooms. With no curb to create a challenge, individuals in walkers or who are wheelchair bound will be able to much more easily access their shower. Another functional benefit is that they are easier to clean than traditional showers given the easy access. However, unless you are willing to ensure that your entire bathroom floor is pitched appropriately towards the shower drain, a minimum depth of 36 inches is generally recommended for a curbless shower to allow you sufficient space to slope your drain properly. As a result, these showers often work best in larger bathrooms. Please note that this is different from a wet room, which I'll talk about later in the course. Curbless showers can be installed with or without a door or just a shower screen panel. Although personally, I would only consider going without a shower door if I lived in a climate that was warm year round. If you love the idea of a curbless shower, then definitely consider heated floors as well, including the shower area, as these go great in tandem. In conjunction with the curbless shower, I would definitely want to install a linear shower drain. While curbless showers and linear shower drains often go hand in hand, they are independent features and one can be used without the other. Linear shower drains are exactly what they sound like. Instead of a traditional round or square drain in the middle of your shower, linear shower drains are linear in shape and if paired with a curbless shower, the drain should be installed parallel to the shower door wall or parallel to the wall opposite the door. Much like curbless showers, linear drains look great in contemporary, modern, and similar aesthetic styles. Not only do they look great, but I love them because you aren't constantly stepping on them like you do with a traditionally placed center drain. One of the reasons that they are often installed in tandem with a curbless shower is because they only require pitch in one direction. This means that you can use larger format tile in your shower like you do on your bathroom floor instead of the much smaller tile that are often used as they are easier to install in a floor that pitches in multiple directions towards the center. Despite all of these benefits, you need to think of a linear drain install as similar to a curbless shower. A lot of pre-planning needs to happen and typically only makes sense when you are undertaking a complete bathroom remodel. They are also definitely more expensive than traditional shower drains. My next upgrade in a bathroom remodel would be a must have for me and that would be to upgrade to a frameless shower with half inch thick glass. Frameless showers with half inch thick glass for the door and the surround just look more elegant and luxurious and they feel more substantial. Of course, the conversation around possible half inch glass only happens when we are talking about frameless showers as these showers require a minimum of 3 8 inch thick glass to ensure structural integrity and durability. Although sometimes if the door or shower enclosure is quite large, the installer might very well recommend half inch thick glass to minimize flex. The bottom line is that if you want to go with a frameless shower and have the budget to upgrade to half inch given the higher material and installation cost, I don't think you'll regret it. Moving on from showers, the next upgrade on my list is a smart toilet. The world of design has everything from smart thermostats to smart refrigerators, so why not a smart potty? And there are a plethora of options to choose from with excellent features like a heated seat, heated water jets, automatic lid opening and closing, adjustable air dryers, built-in deodorizers, and hands-free flushing, just to start. Not only are these just plain cool, but think about the hygiene factor. Never having to touch the lid, the seat, or the flush handle will really help to limit the spread of germs. Additionally, with water jets, this will help to cut down on toilet paper usage and can minimize irritation to the skin when you have a gastrointestinal illness or a condition that often requires excess toilet paper usage. 
There are also models with self-cleaning features. Awesome. Of course, you can buy an entirely new toilet, but truthfully, because many of the smarts are in the seat, you can also just purchase a smart seat attachment to upgrade your existing toilet. I'll get more into smart toilets later in this course, but suffice it to say, this upgrade definitely deserves a top spot on my list. Now those are truly the top seven upgrades I would be strongly considering doing in my next bathroom remodel. That said, there are two other upgrades that deserve honorable mentions and in the right bathroom and with the right personal needs would be excellent upgrades to consider. The first honorable mention spot goes to a fireplace. Yes, you heard me right, a fireplace. No longer limited to rooms like our living rooms and bedrooms, fireplaces can be an excellent choice for a large bathroom. And how luxurious would a fireplace be while soaking in a beautiful tub? And with today's plethora of wall-mounted or built-in prefabricated gas and electric fireplaces and fireplace inserts, there is bound to be a great option for you, if this is something that you're interested in. Because they go so well with a tub, they are often installed in the wall just behind or next to the bathtub. If you prefer a fireplace with a mantle, those are available as well. There are also double-sided models available if you are installing in an ensuite bathroom. If your fireplace needs a surround or you just prefer the look of one with your zero clearance fireplace, apart from tile, other great fireplace surround options include granite, quartz, marble, and soapstone slabs. And finally, a fireplace in any room, including your bathroom, makes an excellent focal point. Now for some important safety tips. Whatever type of fireplace you want, just be sure that it is specifically rated for use in a bathroom. Many are not. Many gas fireplaces will also need to be properly vented, which will significantly add to the installation cost. However, there are also ventless fireplaces available, but please know that certain states in the U.S., as well as other countries, have banned these types of fireplaces being used as there is controversy regarding their safety. Specifically, some say that as long as you use it on a limited basis and according to manufacturer guidelines, they are perfectly safe. But others say that any amount of gas byproducts that these units create is never safe in your home. Because of this, you'll find that if they are allowed in your area, this type of fireplace should have a built-in oxygen detection system, and I would also look for one that has a built-in carbon monoxide detector. Some manufacturers will also recommend leaving a window cracked to allow for some fresh air. Finally, they are often not recommended for individuals with breathing conditions, such as asthma. In short, definitely do your homework if you decide to go this route. Many of today's gas and electric fireplaces can be controlled via remote control, your smartphone, or through wall-mounted thermostats and timers, which means that just like with your heated floor, you can set the fireplace to come on at specific times. Now that is luxury. My second honorable mention bathroom upgrade is an under-counter refrigerator. Now, I know your gut reaction may be, why in the world would I want this? Well, first, there is a practical advantage. If you have medications, vitamins, or facial products that need to be refrigerated, how convenient would it be to be able to keep these in your bathroom? Second, keeping your perfumes and certain beauty products chilled can lengthen their life and or make them easier to use. Third, if you love spending time relaxing in your bedroom or soaking in your tub, how great would it be to be able to keep some cold beverages nearby, like water, juice, or adult beverages? Fourth and finally, if you have the space for a coffee bar in your bedroom, then you'd be able to keep milk or cream easily nearby. Isn't convenience part of what makes something luxurious? Absolutely! Here are some practical tips if you want to consider this upgrade. First. I would recommend going with a model that is appliance panel ready so that you can conceal this appliance by seamlessly integrating it with your cabinetry. Also, know that you can also go with a refrigerator drawer or drawers, although this is a fairly pricey option. Finally, unless you have a water closet that keeps the toilet well separated, I personally wouldn't keep any food here. So there you have it, my favorite nine bathroom upgrades right now. I hope you enjoyed this lecture as much as I did.